Hello, and welcome uh, to our final 2020 uh, Winter Mod Jam uh, Showcase video. And, uh, yes, I know, I know. Uh, you might be wondering, uh, Winter Mod Jam? Uh, what happened to the Summer Mod Jam? You know, that thing we just did last month. Uh, well, uh, funny story, or rather I should say a straightforward story because it's, you know, pretty simple really. Uh, you may recall that way back in uh, February, uh, we had the first ever just Winter Mod Jam. And uh, that was a, you know, a 48 hour competition uh, where modders had to, you know, come up with and release a mod over the course of a, uh, you know, a single weekend. And uh, we were supposed to do video showcases for all those mods, but, you know, we never quite got around to the last five mods here, which is uh, what we're doing today. Uh, we're just showcasing the last five mods from that event, which, as it so happens, are all uh, just gameplay and new item mods here. Uh, so with that said, you know, down links are down below. So let's just uh, begin here. And uh, we're going to start off with the Ebony Blade and always uh, a Spellbreaker by Leowin. Uh, these are just, these are two very small mods by Leowin that just make some uh, rather minor changes to unique artifacts uh, related to uh, two quest lines in the game here. Uh, the first of which, the Ebony Blade, uh, merely switches around the artifact rewards for uh, Mephala's quest, uh, giving you the, as you probably guessed already, uh, the Ebony Blade as a, a reward here, instead of uh, the Ring of the Khajiit, uh, which will now be given to you as a reward for uh, becoming Grandmaster of the uh, Mrag Tong. Uh, next, always a, a Spellbreaker, uh, basically just does exactly what the uh, name implies. It makes it so that you'll always be able to find a Spellbreaker in the Dwarven Ruin of uh, Bethond, uh, regardless of whether or not uh, you've actually, you know, started the quest to find it. Uh, since in uh, Vanilla Morrowind, uh, Spellbreaker was set to only appear if you had, uh, you know, started the quest here. Uh, which meant uh, you could uh, loot the dungeon before, uh, you know, actually getting the quest, and uh, still have to go back later in order to find it, uh, which is just a bit tedious. But anyway, that's all these two mods do, so uh, moving on. Uh, we're going to just uh, take a look at another couple mods here. Ash Helms and Data Crossbow by Stripes. Uh, the uh, first of these, uh, Ash Helms, is a, just a very minor gameplay mod, uh, that uh, penalizes you for uh, not wearing a helm, and uh, specifically a Dunmiri helm, out during ash storms. And now your endurance and uh, fatigue will uh, gradually just uh, be drained uh, when out and about during ash storms without any sort of protective headgear. Uh, things like uh, Cardin helms, which are uh, designed to, you know, keep the ash out of your face as you go about wandering the uh, ashlands here. Again, uh, this is just a very minor gameplay mod, uh, but it is just a bit immersive and, you know, it does add a bit of just extra uh, difficulty to the game here. Uh, next up, by the same author, uh, we have uh, Data Crossbow, which is, uh, well, pretty straightforward really. It adds a new merchant to the game at Ghost Gate uh, that sells a new Data Crossbow and uh, that's uh, pretty much it really. It's a pretty neat looking crossbow that certainly adds a nice option for, you know, the ranged weapon enthusiasts out there. Uh, but again, that's uh, all there is to see here, so... And we're just going to hop over to our last mod, uh, which is Reactionary Miscreants Underworks by Rot. Like the rest of the mods in uh, today's video, uh, this is a, a fairly simple mod uh, that primarily does one thing, and uh, one thing only. And uh, that's to make it so that the bouncers, as uh, the author calls them, uh, will follow you inside their various shrines in the underworks of Avec if you just uh, pick a fight here. Uh, you'll note that in the Vanilla game, uh, there's just a couple places like this in Avec uh, where there's NPCs guarding the outside of a shrine. And uh, now they'll actually just uh, follow you inside if you get into a big fight. Uh, so this is just a fairly immersive little addition here, though again, it's a pretty tiny mod. But uh, anyway, that's it uh, for today, so, uh, you know, uh, down links are down below. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll just, I'll see you all next time.